fingers and the reward the house I could give my poor father was to kill him. He was the first man killed in the May massacre. After I'd been chased for some few years, they shot at him and then when they got him, they had to slice him into two, like, you know, when you want to slice your bread into two. A human being being sliced into two. How you imagine such a thing? Therefore, it's going to my destination. You know, despite the support of Britain, Russia, Egypt, and some other friends of Nigeria, we all will surely come out as a nation because we are fighting a just cause. Even a little child on the street will tell you this. We shall never go back to Nigeria. Yes, that is the end of the journey for a persecuted, massacred, pursued people. We have made all attempts at a democratic resolution of this crisis. I have offered open elections, plebiscite. I have offered just an open cut blanche suggestion anybody who can find a democratic way of finding out the wishes of the people that is suggested and we will go for that. Not an occasion to stir up emotions, but it is impossible to forget that men, women, and children of our kith and kin were taken out of their pets and slaughtered. They were massacred in places of worship, in the streets, in marketplaces, and in vehicles trying to carry them to safety. They are trying to win by the name of Jesus. They are trying to win by the name of Jesus. They are trying to win by the name of Jesus. From the beginning of human history, diabolic people have persistently used God's name to commit heinous atrocities all over the world. Wars become more bloody when religious sentiments are attached. Enemies see each other as abominable infidels that deserve to die. During the Nigeria Biafra War, atrocities and war crimes were obviously committed. But the international community failed to identify or recognize the ethnic and religious implications. However, the purpose of this work is neither to apportion blames nor criticize anyone, but to preserve history and to let our younger generations, who were not born during the struggle, know the kind of songs used to boost the morals of the Biafran soldiers. Umo kori be mu jikere be nu na yeme ye. Umo kori. 
ibe muji kerebe nuna yeme be ka unu si biafra be ka unu neje biafra ya marapo biafra ga ne bozo jabiri biafra ga dindu take my boots off when i die oh biafra take my clothing to the camp Ali Loy, I give my gun to someone else to fight for fatherland. Be afraid, take my boots off when I die. Oju kubeze na la be afraid. Edere ya na buri. I wanna go one day, ya ya kubu go one. Wey ki meri be afraid, be afraid win the war. I'm a do cashelling machine, heavy and clarry, bomb and fighter. Enye mungo wa wanting to get my boy ebwe nonu. Enye mungo wa wanting to get. Enye mungo wa wanting to get my boy ebwe nonu. Enye mungo wa wanting to get. Umu biyafra, une kwe kwa na kago wa chuno. Une kwe kwa na kago wa chuno. Ochichi gisi na koju kubia onyeze Aya choro chichi go wa rumwe biyebi Ochichi gisi na koju kubia onyeze Aya choro chichi go wa rumwe biyebi Awu monya mamiye, awu monya mamiye Nemu wanyi rapu kwa muma baro we mami Oye ura we we rapu cha kechi e ya anya Wewe O me niño ba kweri yeri Biafra kunye buso Nigeria Ala, ala, ala Makagini Nina abu, nina marichi neke Nina marichi neke Kere ha, kere ha, kere ha Ebute butere ya komando Ebute butere ya komando Ebute butere ya komando Akumi boberi manoru wo chine kenti Odi mebo juku chibayi Akumi boberi manoru wo chine kenti Odi mebo juku chibayi Chibai, dia huonu chibai, odi me wojuku chibai Most of the Biafra war songs aimed derogative invectives on the Nigerian government of oligarchy who directed the killing of innocent Biafra women and children by imposing blockade on Biafra. All human contact with the outside world was cut off, hence the Nigerian military janta added hunger to the already existing weapons of mass destruction in their arsenal. Neither food nor medicine were allowed into Biafra, hence malnutrition begot Kwashoko, also known as Harawesen Syndrome. We are Biafrans fighting for our freedom by the name of Jesus we shall conquer. Hey, we, we are Biafrans fighting for our freedom by the name of Jesus, we shall conquer. He come be afraid, fighting for our freedom. By the name of Jesus, we shall conquer. We are be afraid, fighting for our freedom. By the name of Jesus, we shall conquer. Oh, my God.
majiji jo maroro mkume mbwe bie bi kweka msoro ni megi enyi lele enyi biafra la la enyi enyi lele enyi biafra la la ete kwa no kiwese o kiwese to kwa la biafra ete kwa ne nugu Enugu se to kwa la bia fra Enye kwa no ni cha se O ni cha se to kwa la bia fra Enye o, enye o Enye o, enye o Enye, enye lele Enye o, enye o Enye Onye mbuzo Gabu onye pazu Na chukwe kwena Na chukwe kwena Onye mbuzo Gabu onye pazu Na chukwe Radio Biafra and other sincere hearted people all over the world vociferously vented their dislike of the killing of the Biafran children. Russian and Egyptian pilots under the auspices of the Nigerian military junta continued their vicious aerial attack on Biafra, dumping powerful bombs into Biafran schools, churches, markets, refugee camps and hospitals, killing hungry and sick Biafran children. Today, we hear of Armed Forces Remembrance Day, but not even an hour is set aside to remember thousands of Biafran children who died as a result of hunger orchestrated by the blockade and as a result of bombs 
dropped by the Fiendish Egyptian and Russian pilots fighting for the Nigerian military junta. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. 
Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Why you delay? Come and save your nation. Oh, Biafra, why you delay? Chobi Masarafi, Bianu, Bianu, Unu, Bianu, Wunda, Mami, Bianu, Bianu, Unu, Bianu, Wunda, Goza, Gozi, Bianu, Bianu, Unu, Bianu. War is an ill wind that blows no one any good. Oftentimes, mere hyperbolic conjectures escalate to full fledged wars. Therefore, before you utter a word to your fellow man, bite the word with your teeth and see how bitter it is. Remember, materials can be recycled, but words can never. On the 9th of July 1967, the gallant Biafran troops, led by Colonel Victor Banjo, arrived Ore, but were quickly repelled as fast as they came. Biafra continued to cede territories to the Nigerian troops on all sides. The remaining population of Biafrans were gradually being squeezed together into the little remaining Biafra unconquered by Nigeria. Port Harcourt fell on 19th of May 1966. Oweri fell on 9th of January 1970. Uli on 11th of January 1970. Aba, Umahia, Okigwe also fell to the federal troops. Refugee camps became notorious for their shallow graves. Fat green flies, hair lice, bed bugs, and quadriquata, an obnoxious species of bug that defied even the effects of boiling water. Do you remember the proclamation of Biafra as a sovereign state was made on 30th of May 1967 with just 3,000 soldiers? But at the end of the war, more than 30,000 Biafran soldiers humbly laid down their arms. 
in the annihilation of a folk forced to determine its own destiny. There's nothing holy about others aggravating their calamity. When Allah fights Jehovah, something has gone gravely wrong and the innocent young and old blight in the name of God. Oh, 
for settling human conflicts. Why must there be endless bloody civil wars in Africa? Houses, Igbos and Yorubas killing one another. Mandingos, crowns and fullers entangled in a vicious ethnic cleansing exercise. Hutus and Tutsis engaging in deadly conflicts. When mediations and delegations fail in Africa, differences are always settled in battlefields. And any side backed by the diabolic Western Godfathers always wins. Why has United Nations failed woefully to call their member states to order? When shall every citizen of this earth be free? Mankind must be quick in putting an end to wars. Or wars shall put an end to humanity. Go 